Hello everyone! This is the eighth time I've started this video. So I am going to split up the video into two parts. What I was running into, it was too long, and I was just running my mouth talking about all this stuff because I've got so much stuff to talk to you guys about, and nobody's going to watch it all. You guys are probably not going to watch all of this video, and that's okay. I just want to get it out there. So update on recovery first. I am 15 weeks post-op. My physical therapy ended two weeks ago. They decided not to renew my script. Now, interesting story about that. I watched six people go through their exit where they go and measure you and talk about your pain and everything else. Every single one of them was told to renew their script and they were given another six weeks or longer. I did mine, didn't renew it. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm still having a lot of pain they told me that the pain is not really going to ease up till about at least six months and possibly up to a year. So I'm definitely going to be dealing that with that for a while. My range of motion is not where I want it to be. Definitely have a lot of issues there. And I kind of wish that they were still stretching me out. Now, my wife has stretched me out, which she is not a licensed physical therapist. So there's some... Uh, arguing occasionally on which way to stretch me and her going too far and hurting me and uh, or not going far enough because she doesn't want to hurt me. It's just all over the place. So I kind of wish that I was still doing that. But on the strengthening side, as I mentioned in my previous video, I was pushing the weights too hard. Um, nobody there with the shoulder injury was doing more than 10 pounds. I got up to a couple exercises on 70 pounds, um, the incline bench, with the dumbbells my last time I was using 55 pounds and they came in and told me it was too much. Uh, so they told me no restrictions, then they told me it was too much and that I was at a very high risk of re-injury using that much weight and they just cut everything out. So they told me no pressing, definitely no overhead until 20 weeks. So that's five more weeks. Five more weeks until I can really do anything and then I'm gonna start very, very light and work back into it. So that's gonna be a long process, definitely going to be a couple of months here before I'm really starting to get my strength back. Now, uh, what does that leave me to do? Well, the answer is squats. And then we're gonna do some squats. And then just in case, we're gonna do a couple more squats, just to make sure we've squatted enough. So I cannot squat with a straight bar still because of flexibility can't reach back there but the safety squat bar is still there and I will tell you what I miss squatting as, as sore as I've been I've missed squatting so what our program is doing is focusing on work capacity so some people might refer to it as a hypertrophy block although we're not doing any sort of tempo and we're not really f focusing on maintaining a uh, time under tension or anything like that that's involved in the hypertrophy but we'll probably get a little bit of hypertrophy in there just because we haven't focused on reps but what we are trying to accomplish is get the endurance up get the cardiovascular system working and uh, for me anything over five reps is cardiovascular and just focus on relearning the form so I haven't squatted at all since the end of October definitely out of practice and the other video is going to be some training footage and I'm hoping to get that up tonight or tomorrow but I'm gonna go through a, a couple of different things and I'll do the voiceover on that video to keep this video a little bit shorter but I will mention that there were some technique breakdowns that I was having just because I haven't squatted in so long so I was having knees wanting to cave in, the upper back was wanting to lose tightness, which the safety squat bar really forces you to really make sure you're maintaining that tightness. You're pulling your traps together, your shoulder blades are you know, in that back pocket uh, because you can't grab the bar. You're holding it out here, so you have to do it manually. And the weight wants to pull you forward, just, just how the bar is designed. And it's really a great bar. I really do recommend it. And I think once I transition back into deadlifting, there's going to be a good carryover. Now, I can't deadlift at all until 20 weeks as well. And I'm probably going to go very, very light on that for a while to see where it's at. One of the things I've noticed, um, I don't know if you can see it, maybe... Maybe not. Um, I'm kind of leaning. But this shoulder, which is where I had the surgery, 
the bone is pulled in. Uh, as I said, when they wanted it to heal, they wanted it to really tighten up in there. Um, it's very noticeable for me, and you can, might be able to see it in the training footage. I'm really kind of, the, the safety squat bar is leaning on this side. It's just still in there, and that's part of why the pain is there. I, I really need to pull it out of the socket a little bit and get it back to where it needs to be and loosen up a little bit. So that's causing some problems. And um, I haven't had to really do any sort of core bracing at all with the surgery. So definitely needed to do that. I had to put on the belt earlier than I would normally have to. So that wasn't good. And oh my goodness, the soreness. <laughs> it just, whoo. The, the first week I uh, did 245, which uh, just two plates on the safe squat bar, which weighs 65. And I was shooting for reps. We ended up doing five sets and total reps came out to 35. And to focus on that work capacity, we're going back and forth, Glenn, me, Glenn, me, Glenn, me. So, um, you know, rest, you might get minute, minute 30, as opposed to the five plus minutes that we normally do. So, oh man, just, I was having a very, very hard time moving for five days. So we only squatted once that first week. Then uh, the next week we came back and did the same weight, pushed the reps up. Then uh, we did a couple more sets with higher weight and just continued improving the reps. And we've been doing a lot with the rower. Now I'll talk about all the lifting stuff in the other video when I do the voiceover, but for the rower, we've been really pushing a lot of different things. As I said, we wanna work on the work capacity. Our lungs are not where they need to be. So we've been doing some long distance. Uh, we've worked our way up to a thousand meter sets. And then we've been doing a lot of tempo control where you're going a certain distance at a certain tempo. We've done some watts uh, where we focus on keeping our watts above a certain amount. We've done max distance in a minute. And uh, just last night we did some high intensity interval training on the rower. And I think that's what we're gonna be doing most of right now. So what we did was 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off at six, six difficulty and we went five rounds, so five minutes, and it was great. I think that that is probably gonna have the best carryover to lifting and definitely for strongman. So what our goal is gonna be there is to probably use it at a higher difficulty. We'll work our way up to eight and then 10 and get those intervals to a minute and then 30 and possibly a minute 30 and then 45 or maybe 30. Uh, what I really want is when we go back into strongman training, uh, most events you get one minute. I want to be able to push max difficulty, you know, just everything you have for a minute without gassing. Uh, every other competition that I've done, I start gassing at uh, 40 to 45 seconds. That is not good. So we are gonna make sure that we are in good cardiovascular shape, good endurance before we get in there. I'm gonna be pushing the weight on squats while keeping a rep day in there. So we're gonna be squatting three times a week and rowing three times a week, possibly more, uh, depending on if I get enough motivation. It is really hard for me on non-lifting days to wanna do anything. But that's kind of the plan where we're at, as I said, five weeks out before we really do any sort of upper body lifting and add deadlifts back in. I don't know when I'm going to be able to straight bar squat. That is something that I am so far away from being able to get my arm in that position. I, I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that within two months. Uh, that's pretty ambitious. I don't I don't know how much flexibility gains I'm going to get, but that's what I'm shooting for. If you have any questions about the recovery, let me know. And as I said, I will try and get the lifting video done. Actually, I've rambled so much on this video. It'll probably be tomorrow. So look for that tomorrow. If it's not there, then uh, go ahead and yell at me because I've been slacking with the videos, as you guys know. And as always, thank you guys for the support. Go with something heavy.